I'm John Granato, and that is Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can also see uh, Josh's work at sportsmaphouston.com. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at SportsMap HOU. The Astros mi- missed out on Wilson Contreras. He signed with the Cardinals. Do you think the Houston's current uh, situation makes the Astros a less desirable landing spot for a catcher, knowing that Martin Maldonado, seeing what happened with Vasquez last year, that he couldn't even get on the field and how much better a hitter he was, that it is going to be tough to sign any kind of a free agent catcher here? I do. I mean, because Maldi's still in the mix. And, you know, we saw what happened. Maldi, you know, on Instagram kind of voiced some displeasure about how quickly people forget. And then, you know, if you're Contreras, why would you want to come here? You've got the current catcher who doesn't want you here. You know the current manager nixed the deal and didn't want you here. So, you know, if you're Contreras, then you're like, man, I don't want to go to a clubhouse where I'm going to have to split time possibly with a catcher. I have a manager that didn't want me originally. And, you know, they talked about, oh, maybe we can play him in left field. Maybe we can play him at DH. Maybe he doesn't want to do that stuff. Maybe he just wants to catch. So, yeah, I I think the current situation led to all that. Well, it was kind of funny that Maldi got into his feelings on this deal. Uh, I got, you know, people, how soon they forget and I don't forget. I mean, I think he was talking to the Astros organization. I'm, I'm pretty sure, or maybe the fan base. I don't know that everybody that wanted Wilson Contreras. But if Yuli is not in his feelings, and they signed Jose Abreu, just talking to Wilson Contreras got Molly Machete all in his feelings. I mean, hey, dude, you hit a buck seventy last year. Okay, so slow down on your feelings because the Astros need to upgrade. You, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm glad though that they didn't sign Contreras. You want to know the truth? I think Jiner would be a great option here. We, he passed up Corey Lee last year, right? And maybe Corey Lee's going to be the option or whatever. But the Astros are are want to get guys who are. Uh, cheap on the cheap and overproduce for the money that they spend on them. Look at what they've done with Pena and Tucker and Garcia and Urquidy and Fromber and on and on and on. All these guys and Jordan until they got the big contract. That's how the Astros have gotten this good is because they're not paying guys and they can pay a Verlander and they can pay a Bregman and an Altuve because they've got so many guys that are producing at less cost. And if you get Contreras, there's a big chunk of your payroll gone there is but it also tells me what they think of their catcher depth you know like they they knew what they had in Pena at least to some extent that he could at least take over you know on defense for Carlos Correa and then they let Verlander walk I think they have a hope that maybe Hunter Brown can be a piece that replaces Verlander so it makes me wonder that they they said their top target in free agency was Contreras and they didn't get him. So it makes me wonder what they think of their catcher depth that they don't see those guys that can step in like Jeremy Pena did and hopefully Hunter Brown can But do. I wonder why. Yeah, I mean me Jeremy too. Pena hadn't done anything at the major league level and they were like, he's he's the guy. we you know what we can get rid of we can get rid of Carlos. I mean Jiner has proven that he can hit at the minor league level. I don't know why you would think he can't I would give him a shot. Yeah. I mean well he didn't come up and hit four hundred right away, I guess. Maybe that's why. But you didn't give him any opportunity Nobody gets an opportunity as long as I wish someone loved me as much as Dusty loves Maldonado. I just wish that that would happen in my life because I don't care who you are. You ain't catching on this team if your name's not Machete. Now, if they don't bolster the catcher position, they don't bolster center field, if they don't do anything else, you a little disappointed in this offseason? I'm disappointed if it's because – incompetence in some way in the front office that cost him these moves you know like I don't think it was smart of Dusty to come out and kind of verify that report that he didn't want Contreras at the trade deadline I would have kind of no commented that I I wouldn't want that in negotiations with Contreras knowing that from my mouth we didn't want you here you know if they don't sign somebody I want it to be because Crane's being smart and this was kind of yeah. always the plan. Like when I saw that press conference with the Brayu, in the back of my mind, I was like, this might be it, because they already had Montero at that point. I'd rather it be a dog and pony show 
then it's incompetence, and they really wanted Contreras, and they failed to get it done. I don't know if it's incompetence. This guy signed with other teams. I mean, there's a lot of money being thrown around out there, and I don't know that it would be incompetence if they don't sign Nimmo, if they don't sign Conforto, if they don't sign Benintendi. I don't know that it's that as much as we don't feel like we're going to spend that much money on on those guys, and I'm and, and I'm fine with that too. Listen, this team is better already with Abreu on it, right? Now, Verlander's gone, but I, we think that they're able to overcome that. Certainly, Verlander is is uh, it's gonna you, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna compare to what Verlander did last year for this team. But you're still okay there. Uh, I'm I'm okay if if they brought back Yuli. If they brought back Brantley at a lower cost, if they did a one-year deal, I want to see if Leon can play in, in upcoming years. If you can, if you uh, sign Nimmo to a five, six-year deal, that, is that going to stunt the growth of Pedro Leon? Does that make him more available? And oh, by the way, he might be really, really good in the future. No, that's a fair point. You know, I'd like to see him play a little bit too. But I also think if they go out and land an outfielder right now, like. You know, they maybe they feel the heat because they missed out on Contreras. So let's go, you know, pay one of these outfielders. Then you're missing out on that possible Michael Brantley return, you know, because they're not going to know the health of his shoulder for, for quite some time. And he could be a really nice discount for you. The, the other thing I want to bring up is, you know, with Bagwell saying he's looking for Jordan to play 50% and left. Dusty coming out and saying maybe 65, 70% in left field for Jordan. What's the point of signing a left fielder if he's only going to play yeah. 30% of the time? I know you still have a DH to account for, but I think there could be a really good value with bringing Brantley back. But it's funny, you bring up Yuli about you know how great he was in the postseason. We talked about those juice baseballs in the postseason. I hope it wasn't that. Yeah, well... No, I think Brantley would be a great DH. He played 35% out there. He's got the shoulder issue. He's older. He's slowing down a little bit. He, he is a good club. I don't want him diving for balls with that shoulder. I think he, that would be the move. Now, most, most DHs are going to bat high in the order. I don't think Brantley bats before seven or eight in this order. I, don't, I, I, I really don't, and, and, and I'm fine with that. If you've got Michael Brantley in the seven hole, you're a pretty darn good baseball team. You are. What do you think he's going to cost, though, John? We saw Ledmus Diaz, a you know a utility type guy, get fourteen and a half million for two years. I don't think we could expect Brantley to get less than that. Right? No, I think he's eight to ten. He's been a sixteen million dollar guy, a year guy. So I think eight to ten, and I think that would be fair. And I think Michael Brantley might find it fair too. I mean, that's another eight to ten million dollars you're throwing on top of all that money he's made already. That ain't too shabby. 